Hey guys, so hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Emma and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma and welcome to my new room. This is the first video I'm filming in this room. I'm so excited. It took me a little while to get the setup sorted to try and get like the lighting to look okay. Hopefully it is okay. I don't really know. Hopefully it's not too echoey in here because it's pretty blank at the moment. My bed and my desk is about all that's in here at the moment. But you're not here to hear about that. You're here to hear about my favourite health and beauty products. As you would have been able to see by the title of this video, I'm sharing with you guys my favourite health and beauty products that I'm loving at the moment. This probably isn't a video you'd expect from me because if you've been around here for a while, you know that I don't wear makeup. And that's not by choice. It's because I have incredibly sensitive skin and I don't know how to do makeup. So put those together and um, it's not great but that's okay we're making the best of the situation that we've got so i'm going to share a few products that i use with you guys that are not makeup related so if you came here to hear about some awesome makeup products i'm sorry but you've come to the wrong place actually I'm just gonna add one last minute thing to this video some of these products were like sent to me as like a gifted item they haven't paid me to include their products in this video it's just because i've used them and genuinely like them so just a little disclaimer there and i will disclose which ones were gifted to me as well just so that you guys know so, I guess we'll start with here because I have a thing like, uh, no, no. If you've been around here for a while, would have heard me talk about Olaplex. I use their shampoo, I use their conditioner. So this is the Bond Smoother and this is the Bonding Oil. So I put these two together, that's what they recommend to do. You don't have to put them together if you just have one, then that's okay. I either do it on damp hair or dry hair, you can do it either way. I don't really notice a difference, to be honest, so it's just whenever I remember to do it pretty much. You use a little tiny pea-sized amount of the Bond Smoother and then a few drops of the Bonding Oil. And when I say you need a few drops of this, literally, it's like nothing. Like literally four drops of this is all I need for all of this. And I've had this bottle now for for like two or three months and it literally looks like I haven't used any of it that's amazing if you're looking for best value for money I'd probably say the bonding oil just because it lasts so long I just love they make my hair feel so soft and they also work as a heat protectant as well so when I straighten my hair it's amazing so the next product I haven't actually spoken about on YouTube I don't think maybe when I first started my channel I might have I've been using this product off and on since I was like year 11 at school and I'm now like first year of high school no I'm not actually I'm second year of high school Anyway, I've been using this on and off for a while, and this is the inverse hair conditioner. It looks like straighteners, I know, that's what I thought when I first got it, but no, it's not. It's an ice conditioner, so you guys know when you're in the shower and you're washing your hair with like warm hot water, and then you'd like sometimes, like, I don't know if anyone does this, but you turn it to cold and then let the cold water run through your hair and then hop out of the shower. This is kind of like running the cold water through your hair, but like extreme level. So this actually detaches out, it's kind of wet because it's been defrosting. But this bit here lives in the freezer, and this bit obviously doesn't. So when you want to use it, you go grab this out of the freezer, and it just clips in there like that. And this was actually made by a New Zealand guy whose wife used to wash her hair with ice cold water, and he's like, hey, let's make a product that does that for you. I'll demonstrate. So you just get a piece of hair and go like this. And it literally makes your hair so soft. It's not quite as effective at the moment because it's completely defrosted because it's been sitting out for a while while I've been organising myself. But yeah, it leaves your hair so soft. I swear when I do this and then straighten it, it lasts way longer and it just makes my hair feel so much softer and healthier. It's also really good on sun damaged hair as well. But yeah, that wasn't gifted to me, but my parents used to sell these in their pharmacy. So I met the guy who made it and... It's really cool to hear a story. The last hair product I want to share with you guys is my hair straightener. So I get a few questions about it because I feel like my hair, when it's straight, like it's pretty straight. This hair straightener I currently use, I've been using for, I got it on Christmas three years ago. So I've had it for just over three years now. And it is this one here. So this is the Cloud9 Wide Iron Straightener and I swear by it. A lot of people see me using a wide iron like, why do you use a wide iron? Your hair's not even thick. It's because it seriously speeds up the process, it's amazing. So it has like um, different heat settings, so you can do it from like under 100 degrees up to 250 degrees, I think. I normally do it around 150, but I just, I swear by it. My brother's girlfriend actually had one of these back in like, when I was in year 11, and I used it, and my hair was straight for days. Like that's, that's kind of my secret to straight hair along with the inverse. I feel like a good hair straightener is a good investment because previously I had a cheap and nasty one from Briscoe's, and it was cheap and nasty, and... It didn't really do anything to be honest. I thought it did, but after I tried this, I was like, whoa. So that's all the hair products aside. Moving on to skin. I'll start with these three products here. So these are all natural deodorants. If you've been around here for a while, you may have heard me talk about how I made the transition from normal deodorant to natural deodorant. It wasn't an easy task, I will admit. I did a bit of research about the whole detoxifying period when you go from like a normal deodorant through to a natural deodorant. There's a four week period when you start that process where your body releases all the aluminium that's stuck in your pores from the traditional deodorants. 
But anyway, I got through that and I did that whole period using the Sarah's Day Pity Party. I'm gonna be honest, this isn't my favourite. It actually irritates my underarms, something shocking. But I did hear yesterday or the day before on her Instagram story that she's bringing out the same deodorant but without the sodium bicarbonate. I will try that because I think the sodium bicarbonate is what causes the irritation. But anyway, when I was having trouble with that, I then branched out to this one. That one also has sodium bicarbonate in it and that also causes irritation. I do prefer it over Pity Party just because you don't have to get your fingers dirty. And then this one here, which is the only good, I've actually had this since before I had the Pity Party. This is just like your typical roll on and I like that I don't think this one has sodium bicarbonate in it and this one doesn't cause irritation I did try using this one when I did the first like detoxifying four week period thing transferring to the natural deodorant and I found this one didn't have enough scent to it to like work that's what these two have going for them they have a really strong scent whereas this one's a bit more subtle once you've done the detoxifying period I'd recommend this one but while you're doing it, I'd recommend one of these ones. It's a little bit more potent. Next skin product is this one here. This is the Morning Coffee Caffeinated French Green Clay Face Scrub Slash Mask. I was gifted this and I do work alongside Eden I, so I will just disclose that here and now. But this is genuinely, like I love all their products, but this one's my favourite, hence why I've included it in this. You do have the option of using this as a scrub or a mask. It does act as like an exfoliant if you use it as a scrub. So I do this every two to three days. I actually do it in the shower now, just because then I don't have to like get a face cloth out and whatever. But you just use a tiny amount, rub it in your face, and then just wash it off. I'm really prone to getting blackheads on the bridge of my nose, and I just like really like focus on those areas. And then I wash it off, hop out of the shower, and they're pretty much all gone. I also saw they shared some before and after photos of a girl with quite bad facial acne who used this like consistently on I think I want to say on a daily basis for a couple weeks and her acne was pretty much gone so I do have a discount code for that which is linked down below so if you want to get your hands on that there you go. Next up is this here which is the Soothing Eye Contour Cream from Avene. I've been using this now for well over a year. I think this is my third or fourth bottle and I just use it morning and night on my eyelids. I do have the occasional flare up on my eyelids from my psoriasis don't know what brings it on but this is what fixes it so keeping with Avene I have these two products here which are both facial SPF so this one is tinted and it's SPF 30 and this one here is SPF 20 but it's not tinted during summertime when I'm at the beach and stuff I probably should use every day but I don't um, I use one or the other of these depending on whether I want it to look like a marine foundation or whether I want it to look like I'm natural these are amazing I've never been burnt on my face when using these they don't leave your skin feeling real gunked up but they don't feel like sunscreen on your skin which is what I love also from Avene I have this which is called the gentle eye makeup remover I've been using this on and off because obviously I don't wear eye makeup every day I wear it like twice a year when I do this is game changing. I said I wasn't going to put any makeup in this but this is the only makeup I actually use and I really like it so it's actually probably expired now. Yep but this is the ultimate all-in-one Revlon waterproof mascara. It is amazing. It is game changing. I haven't really experimented much with mascara just because I don't really wear makeup but I've used this one and it is phenomenal. Whenever I do wear it normally people do notice and swipe off my story and ask what I'm wearing so if you want to know that's the one. Haven't worn it in a while because waterproof mascara is a pain to get off but there you go. Next category I have is teeth. Very exciting, I know. First one here is this bamboo toothbrush. This is just from Colgate, so you can get them from a supermarket. You can actually get them in a pack of two, so it comes with this one, and then like a charcoal brush. I've been using the Colgate ones for probably over six months now. And the other product is this natural toothpaste from Red Seal. This is just in the supermarket. They have a few different types, like they have, this is just the natural one, but the mild minty flavor. But they also have these in other flavors as well. I've only used this one once. I did use their kids toothpaste when I was obviously a child. The next couple of products I have are both shower products, so I actually only have one of them here because they're the one I left in the shower at Owen's house. The first one is this razor here. So this is from Kelly Woods. I got it from the market online. It's a stainless steel reusable razor. When I got this in the mail, my mom's like, that looks like the razor I used to use when I was 16. And I was like, cool. That's just what I wanted to hear. But no, it's really cool. Um, it's reusable, obviously much better for the environment. It's just a single blade, which makes it nice and clean. I just love how it's stainless steel and I'm going to be able to use it long term. It did cost me about $40 to get in the first place. But the blades for it are super cheap. I was sick of my stupid disposable razor and the little heads on it. Four pack was like $17. So this one here, you just unscrew that and then it pops up and the blade just sits in there. The blades last approximately five shaves and then you just swap it out for another one but they're cheap so it's fine. They also have a really cool initiative with the Kelly Woods ones where you can collect 40 of the blades and send them back and they'll actually like recycle them. Which is awesome. I must admit, this is taking a little bit of getting used to, just from going from like 
a plastic one to a stainless steel one, but no, I do like it. The other shower product I have to share with you guys, which I don't actually have here with me, is the Mugu shower gel. I was previously using a very, very expensive shower gel, which was costing $45 a bottle. I know, insane. It's because of my sensitive skin, guys. I'm not that precious. The Mugu one is like half the price. Still quite expensive, but for sensitive skin, it is amazing. I've been using the Mugu shower gel since Christmas Day, and I actually think I prefer it over the really expensive shower gel I was using previously. I don't want to tell you what the other one is because there's nothing wrong with it, but it was just expensive. Next two products I have to share with you are completely random, not really beauty related, but kind of are, so I'm going to share them with you anyway. So the first is this book. So this is the Feel Good Guide by Matilda Green. I've been reading this on and off for over a year now. It's just nice to like, when I'm away on holiday and stuff, just sit down and just have a read. I've got through around about half of it. And I feel like when you read it, you kind of put the book down feeling really refreshed and like ready to, you know, sort yourself out, which I really like. The bit I just finished reading when I was at the beach over Christmas was about meditation and stuff. If you aren't familiar with who Matilda Green is, she was the winner of The Bachelor like a few years back with Art Green anyway. They're married now and have a beautiful child, another child on the way. The other product I have to share with you guys is this drink bottle here. So this is by the Dawny Adventure Club. I was not planning on buying this. I was actually planning on buying a Hydra Flask. And you're like, wow, Emma, this looks like a Hydra Flask. Indeed it does. And let me tell you, it was half the price. Exact same thing, half the price, and supporting a Kiwi business. It also has the straw attachment, so... I also love how it comes with the straw attachment with the Hydra Flask. That comes separately. So this cost me $55. It is... 940 something mils so nearly a litre which is amazing and this has seriously helped me drink a lot more water through my day it also keeps your water cold for 24 hours and hot for 12 hours if that's what you want i take it everywhere with me you guys know i'm a bit of a drink bottle snob so yeah so that is all the products I have to share with you guys today. I feel like I've been speaking at a million miles an hour. I haven't filmed a sit down video in the longest time and I've almost forgotten how to do it. But I'm here, I've ate it. I'll try and remember to link all these products down below. So if you want to get your hands on any of them, then you can. I also feel like I haven't really said this, so um, Happy New Year. Thank you guys for your support over 2020 as well. And thank you for your ongoing support so far with 2021. And also looking at my analytics, don't be the people that don't subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, guys. It really supports myself and my channel. But yeah, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. Natural deodorant. The next couple of products. The next couple of, the next couple. Is this drink bottle of products? I, uh,